Hey, what's up everyone? Gordon Bradley here with Fino Wants Fitness and today we're going to go over the Maverick Bar and some of the different deadlift variations. How to set it up, things to think about, um, some of the benefits of using the Maverick Bar, which there's plenty of those. The deadlift is kind of, I would say the most difficult, it's the most easy to set up, but there's so many different variations that it, this one gets a little wild, but you guys are gonna love it because you're gonna have a lot of different options. Or the cool part is you can just stick to the basics. If you don't want to be able to do deficits and um, rack pulls and all these different things, then just use it in one way and then you don't really have to learn. But if you wanna learn the advanced steps, then this is the video to show you some of that. So for me personally, I'm using the mostly I do use the angled uh, handles for some of the sumo style, which I'll show you. Uh, but generally, I'm using the straight extension arms and with the neutral grip handles, which is great on a deadlift because you're able to get external rotation, fire the muscles, the whole posterior chain, and that's going to be really beneficial to staying safe on a deadlift. But the other great thing is the fact that it has these jack stands. These are removable, you don't have to have them, but if you want them, which most of you are probably gonna utilize, uh, makes for putting the weights on uh, very, very simple. And actually, this is actually one of the ways that you can set up one of your deadlifts. And this would be like a high pull or kind of like a rack pull. And for me, personally, uh, I'm 6'1", just an athletic build. I'm not super wide, but I use, on all my standard deadlifts, uh, four holes from the end. So one, two, three, four. I plug it into there and put my pins in. doesn't matter which direction on most lifts. The squat is really the only one that, uh, that I can think of uh, right off the top of my head that it matters which way you put the pin in. But, for pole, for pole, very simple. Uh, you can do the pin over the top, you can do the pin over the bottom, sometimes that will matter, but in most cases, it doesn't really matter. And the handles simply slide on. When you look at using this, you're going to need the handle to be crossing back over the access of the sleeves. So if it was the other direction, it's gonna lean and wanna tilt right away. So you're always trying to lift with your hands in the center of the sleeve access, and that makes it easy when you know when you're setting up that you just can't set it up the other way because it's gonna to wanna to twist. So as you can see, we can do this. We would put our weights on. It's the fourth hole on each end. It's really easy to count these. You could put, uh, I've done this before is just get chalk markers that are colored and I just put small little dots as reference points and it makes it really really simple to find your holes although there's not that many counting them is really simple if you just put one on the center however you want to do it that's just one really easy way so I use this as either a rack pull where you're going to be doing your heaviest weight you want that type of stimulus it's not uh, from the traditional barbell height. Uh, this is gonna be when you're really trying to maximize moving the most amount of mass. Then again, just switch directions. I have the handles crossing over the access. This is a great one for shrugs as well. This is a deadlift video. But if you're someone who has a narrower uh, torso, then you can obviously bring these in one. They have to be even uh, as far as holes go from the end uh, for obvious reasons, but you can make this as narrow as you want. And depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you just have a lot of options. You can even make it higher. If you want to one, do like a drop set, you, you get it lower as many reps as you could can. And then for a deadlift, in this variation, your hands are going to be slid way to the front of the handles on access again, and you're just going to pick it up like this. What you want, and this is not so much about the bar, but you never want to have the handles where they're pushing your knees into internal rotation. You actually want, on a deadlift, external rotation. That'll be really good for your arches of your feet and firing the whole posterior chain. 
Um, so never have them so narrow that they're pushing your knees in, but that's getting more into the training side of things. But that's just a good general um, habit to have is the knees out, external rotation, stable hip. So that's just one setup for a rack pull. Now, I'll slide some weights on real quick. And then you would put the collars on. I'm not gonna do that just for time savings. And now I'm gonna switch these out to my more traditional deadlift. So again, for full, you can see how easy this really is. I'm just gonna spin this. It takes two seconds. I didn't move any of the holes. I just spun which direction it's in. And now you can rotate this down. Now we're into our more standard height deadlift. So if this is almost in line with the axis of this, as far as height goes off the ground, now we're at a more traditional height deadlift. We can do a deficit really, really easily here by just moving the handle down. That's gonna be a slight deficit. Um, you can actually do a pretty major deficit by, and this where it gets a little complicated because you can really, really start to adjust this in a lot of different ways. But for now, you would just put this underneath and then put the handles back onto it. Now you're lifting with it even at more of a deficit, if that makes sense. So it's even lower by putting these handles down here and this, this won't quite hit the ground. So it's actually kind of like a, a cool little platform to keep it stable. So this would be one way to have this uh, in an extreme deficit. Again, just a normal deadlift. It's gonna be here. So this is gonna be your, your basic setup. And how to, how to put this stuff on, you're just gonna get used to where to grab it, where to balance it, when doing it. Um, it's gonna take a little learning curve as far as that goes. But again, this is a really basic deadlift uh, on a standard height. So look at this, this goes down and these rise it back up to the height of a traditional barbell. So this is the setup for that. Now, what you can do if you wanna do a different height not quite a rack pull the other way, the first way it was set up, but if you want to do an even higher version, but not quite as high as the first one, okay, we just take this. Now, from where we're going to be lifting from, this is upward. This is going to be elevated up away from you or towards your chest. So instead of it going down, it's now going to be up because we're going to flip it in the other direction. Hopefully that's not confusing. Four holes still. That's usually not going to change. Or if you're three holes or five holes, that's up to you. Figure that out. But now that quickly. Now I shifted to a rack pole height. Um, I'm going to spin this for the video, but in your gym. Now we're deadlifting. Not quite as high as the first one. Now you're going to be more center of the handle because you're going to be on this axis, which you're going to learn this. It won't even take any thought. Here. Now another option, just like before, I showed you a little bit ago, is just taking this. So you can always just go in either direction and it gives you just nearly unlimited amount of lifting heights. This is going to be relatively close to uh, the first one you did. So you could always start with it here and just flip the handle and not have to spin the bar. But this is basically where it was when the bar was flipped the other direction. But then you could go even lower because this was faced down instead of up. 
So hopefully you can see, um, it's pretty simple how that gives you so many different options. It's just which way is the bar flipped and which way do you actually have these put on it. So now of course, you can drop back to a deficit again. So this makes it cool where you can do quick transitions. You can lift from the standard, the standard height or a slight deficit, click up one, and then we're gonna switch right to rack pulls. When I'm switching it, I like to lean it down so it doesn't wanna spin it off. But now we're back to our rack pulls with additional height. But again, all in all, this is very simple in the way that once you know which holes, how many holes, inward, I never forget, it's four holes, I use it all the time, then it's just a matter of which way do you flip things. Once you got this, you got this, you're never going to have to look um, through the videos or the PDFs that we'll uh, get to you guys. They're not finished yet, but we will get them to you. Uh, but again, you can see it's very basic when it comes to deadlifts. You'll have the jacks that are really simple to use and move in your handles is nothing. It takes seconds. And then the last thing I'm going to show is one of the deadlift variations that I love and that is a sumo variation. And you're going to have to learn for your specific body how you want to utilize this, but that's going to be the last one I show. All right, so now this is one of the setups for a sumo deadlift. So right now I have it to where the bar is facing downward. The extension arms are coming back up towards the axis. Again, you can adjust the height to a different level depending on what your goal is. Uh, I have this on hole one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they're even up on the second arm for what I'm doing right now. You can go wider all the way out here uh, with the handle so you can experiment. The handles themselves have multiple angles if you have the actual angled handles. So you can change just by flipping it and you can see this is now heading towards you. This was heading this way and it's a different angle. You can experiment with that a little bit just figure out what you like right now i have them inward which seems to be great it's a little more shallow of an angle to tuck your arms again you can go wider or you could flip this bar to where this side would be up you would go this way to where the handles are up here or you can use it as is just like this so it's really the same thing, it's just which way feels better to you and that's what you can experiment with and see what you like, but again it's good to have options. So sumo setup, you're only going to be able to go as wide as you can. This bar is the wider version, so obviously if you have a shallower rack, you're just stuck with a shallower uh, overall bar, so you're going to be limited in that way, but there's nothing we can do about that, just so you know. And now you're going to need your hands on that axis. You can grab it whatever way you prefer. But again, you can make these wider as you go. But that is one way to do a sumo. It's just an additional option on top of the neutral grip. Again, different ways that you can flip the handle, stuff like that. Um, but these are some of the standard easier setups for the Maverick bar and the deadlift variation. So give these a try. Um, of course, you're gonna find different stuff and different ways to do it. Feel free to share those because people would love to see the new things that you can come up with. But as always, be very, very careful when you're experimenting and trying new lifts. Always start with minimal weight and be very cautious when you are trying something new. So thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.